Envision learning environments where students and their teachers are engaged to interact in profound and meaningful ways. The engagement in these environments results from relevant, meaningful, and applicable learning being moved into a student's time and space. Welcome to this pre-session video on flipped learning. In this video, flipped learning is defined, its characteristics explained, and suggestions are made for how you and your students can experience success with this pedagogical approach. Take it from me. Having explored a flipped classroom as a part of my own pedagogical practice transformed both my teaching and student learning. As you continue with the video, I'd like for you to consider framing your thinking against our session learning goals. From an educator's perspective, think about deepening your understanding of practices that engage students with differences in backgrounds, their learning strengths, needs, as well as their interests. And from a leadership perspective, think about determining your next best move to growing individual as well as collective teacher efficacy. Let's take a closer look at the flipped classroom. As I began my own journey with students into what Bergman and Sam's call Flipped 101, I created video lessons, sometimes with checks for understanding integrated, for students' consumption outside of our typical classroom space and time. Upon returning to the group learning space with their thinking activated, students would work alongside their peers, solving problems and engaging in rich tasks. Oftentimes, students would leverage their autonomy to check in with others and through facilitated discussions around intentionally selected and sequenced artifacts, students' voices were honored and a collective responsibility to building understanding for oneself and on behalf of others was cultured. As more content was created for student consumption, this opened up a new opportunity a new possibility. Student agency could be increased and, well, as you can imagine, teacher pacing decreased. With on-demand access to content and coaching in active learning strategies, students were in a far better position to manage portions of the subject matter independently and creatively, working towards mastery of learning goals and demonstrating evidence of course expectations. This is but one example of many where educators have flipped their classrooms to empower students to becoming leaders of their own learning. Well that was flipped 101, but what exactly is flipped learning? To clarify, it's not what it is, rather it's how you and your students are intentionally building conceptual understanding and procedural fluency while going towards a more personalized learning model. Bergman and Sams sum this up with the expression, what's the best use of face-to-face -face time in class? Again, it's not what it is, rather it's how. As an approach, I'd like you to consider flipped learning as lying along one end of a continuum of evolving pedagogical practice, one that is shared by educators and their students. As mentioned in the introduction, this approach serves to move direct instruction, typically occurring in a grouped space, into the individual student's learning space. As a result, the group space can then be transformed by teachers and their students to becoming more interactive. Through increased opportunities for collaboration, teachers are then putting themselves in a position to better differentiate learning. It's not uncommon in these learning environments to see and hear students actively involved in knowledge building, applying concepts, and engaging creatively and authentically in their learning. Let's take a closer look at flipped learning as a continuum of evolving pedagogical practice. As a special note, the continuum can also be viewed using the interactive web-based viewer Prezi 
and this Prezi can be found under Learning Activity Option 3 on the Session website. In the introduction, I described a typical starting point, similar to my own experience with the Flip Classroom. In the beginning, you're creating and or curating an archive of video content for students' on-demand use. As you move towards step two, you're providing opportunities for students to move through the curriculum at their own pace. Students accessing content when it's required. As you continue along the continuum, coaching students and increasing their opportunities for agency, projects and rich tasks become the vehicles for developing understanding and building and transferring key competencies. Once you and your students are experiencing flipped learning, learning is more asynchronous, more student-paced. At this stage, you'll find students creating projects and crafting their own problems. As students work through these challenges, teachers are continuing to provide support. For example, teachers are guiding students to content when it's required. But the teaching-learning relationship has now evolved to one where students and their teacher are learning together in a collaborative relationship, each playing an active role in setting learning goals, developing success criteria, giving and receiving feedback, monitoring their process, and adjusting their learning, learning strategies. In closing, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and for moving further into the Before You Arrive activities. Leading up to our session, here are a few post-video suggestions to continue your learning. One, delve into the suggested resources linked alongside this video. You can find them either below the video on YouTube or here on the session website. Two, continuously connect to the learning goals mentioned in the introduction. Three, as a starting point, explore Flipped 101 or the Flipped Classroom with your students. Four, visit and participate in a colleague's classroom where this pedagogy is being practiced. Five, share your learning. Share your learning with someone else. For example, a colleague, your administrator, a learning network, a professional learning community, and six, as you stretch your thinking and learning, you might also consider making connections from a flipped classroom to the elements of, say, thinking classrooms or towards global competencies. Note that each of these learning activities can be found on the session website. For thinking classrooms, see learning activity option two. And for global competencies, see learning activity option four. All together, I'm looking forward to working alongside each of you as we seek to co-create conditions that can give life to equity in the teaching and learning we do as students and one another each and every day. If at any time you have questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me at Flipping the Focus using the contact information provided on the session website.